Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, which is all about Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is a beauty brand that I have loved for years. Ever since the very first products hit the United States, I have been purchasing it and doing videos about it. And when the brand first launched here in the United States, it was only available through the Charlotte Tilbury website. So that is where I purchased my very first products. In fact, one of my very first YouTube videos was my little Charlotte Tilbury haul of I think a lipstick, liner, gloss, and maybe a blush and eyeshadow palette. So this is my current Charlotte Tilbury collection. Some of it purchased, some of it sent to me. I have done a couple of sponsored Charlotte Tilbury videos in the past. This one is not sponsored. The reason why I am doing yet another Charlotte Tilbury dedicated video is because the brand has finally gone into Ulta stores around the US. And I know that is very exciting news for a lot of people, including me. I mean, as much as I do love Sephora, and I know 99.9% .9 of you are going to agree with me on this, the rewards program at Ulta is far superior to the rewards program over at Sephora. So I thought this would be the perfect time for me to once again share with you my top Charlotte Tilbury picks. So what you'll be seeing in this video are my top five must-haves. These are products that I have repurchased myself over and over and over again. I just think they are the ones that if you're new to the brand and you're just deciding to tippy-toe into making your first purchase. These are the five products that I think are top tier. These are Charlotte Tilbury's best, best products, in my opinion. And then I'm going to be showing you five products that I do really like, that I think you should consider. And then I've got five, absolutely not, easy pass products. I hope I don't make anybody angry if you happen to like one of these products because, you know, to each their own. Just because I really don't like something doesn't mean you shouldn't like it if you do like it. All right, let's start off with a bang and share with you the must-haves. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liners. I do believe I own every single lip liner shade that she makes. And my favorites are Iconic Nude, of course, Pillow Talk, the one I have on now is called Hot Gossip. It's very, very underrated. I also really like Pillow Talk Medium. And what I love most about these lip liners, well, there are a couple of things I really love about these lip liners, hence why they are my must-haves. They are very, very creamy. They're very long-lasting. They're easy to sharpen. They last a long time. And by that, I mean, you know, have you ever purchased a lip pencil and you sharpen it one time and you feel like it's eaten half the pencil, you basically get four or five uses out of it, you sharpen it four or five times and then it's done. It's this little nub and you feel like you just really haven't gotten your money's worth at all. So with these, I feel like you just need a couple of twists with the sharpener and it's back to being ready to go. I like that you can kind of turn it on its side and fill in your lips a little bit. I think she's done a terrific job with these shades. I will continue to repurchase Charlotte Tilbury lip liners and recommend them. They retail for $25, which I think is pretty standard for high-end makeup. All right, the next product is going to come as a surprise to absolutely no one who watches my videos regularly. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Pressed Powder. I have gone through so many of these. I find other powders that I like that I will once in a while use in its place that are more affordable, like I've spoken about the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Pressed Powder. I really love that one. But there's just something about this airbrush powder that I just love. The texture, it's just so super silky, which makes it a pleasure to use. It does such a good job at diffusing the look of pores, not settling into any fine lines. I can use this under my eyes to set my concealer and it looks beautiful. This compact powder has won several 
Beauty Editor Awards. It's in almost every professional makeup artist's kit, and I really don't know what else to say besides I love this. I also love a very underrated product. This product, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, is one of the original products that Charlotte Tilbury launched in the US back in 2015, I think. And the reason why I believe it's so underrated is because she has come out now with so many, well, a couple separate options for this type of thing, meaning she has a separate powder bronzer, or she's got separate highlighters now. This product is pricey, but it is multi-purpose, and it's going to last you such a long time. This one is the light to medium duo. There's also a medium deep duo. I own both of them, but I do reach for this one more. So you've got your contour slash bronzer. Not all bronzers can be used as contour powders, and not many contour powders can be used as bronzers. The tone of this one is so perfect that it can be used to bronze the skin and to contour. It's just very, very neutral. And it also looks fantastic as an eyeshadow, just to use as a basic transition shade or to blend out your eyeshadow when you've completed everything and you just kind of want to blend it all together. This is a great shade to use for that, a great product. And then the highlighter, it kind of looks like nothing in the pan but it gives just a really pretty, soft, non-glittery highlight. I actually like this better than the individual highlighters that she launched last year, I think. So beautiful. Product number four in my five favorites is this color corrector. This one is medium shade two. I also have shade one. And this is one of the best color correctors that you can find right now on the market. I do like the um, Catrice color corrector. It is also very, very good and much more affordable. But I know from reading comments over the years, lots and lots of comments, that regardless of how great I say a drugstore product might be, there are people out there that just don't want to buy drugstore, and that's fine, no judgment for me. So if you're looking for a great color corrector that's not drugstore, Charlotte Tilbury would be pretty much my top pick. Once again, I think Charlotte Tilbury has done a fantastic job with the shade selection. There's only four options, I believe, but having worked over the years as a freelance makeup artist on all different ages and races. I know what colors are necessary, what undertones are necessary to neutralize dark circles on a multitude of skin tones. And I feel the four options that Charlotte Tilbury offers are perfect. You are going to find that one of the Charlotte Tilbury corrector shades works for you. And then finally, the setting spray. The airbrush Flawless setting spray. I have the large size. I have the travel size. I have one that's even smaller than the travel size. Where did I put that? I got that as a gift with purchase from Nordstrom one day when I was making a purchase. I had never seen that size before because it's about half the size of the travel size. And as I said, it was free. They just gave it to me with my purchase. This is my Holy Grail setting spray. I try others. I like others, I always find myself going back to this. This just locks my makeup in place all day, all night. I will never go out for an event without spraying my face with this setting spray, especially if I know I'm going to be somewhere where I'm getting warm, I'm 50 years old, so I don't have full on hot flashes very often, but I do find myself getting very warm these days, not to the point of sweating, but I can feel like a little glisten happening, and I already have oily skin, so I need something that will really just lock it down, keep that eyeshadow on, keep my brows on, keep my cheek color on, keep my foundation looking good. You know what, I'm just realizing now that one of these must be newer than the other because the packaging is different. I stockpile these, I do, 
Whenever Charlotte Tilbury sends me PR, which is rare, I used to get it a lot more often. In recent years, I've only gotten it when I've worked with them on sponsored content, and they usually send me the same things, which is why in the past I've done giveaways of those same items because they always just want to send me more Pillow Talk products, which I love, but there's only so many I can have or stockpile or need, so I will give them away. The point is that whenever I get a setting spray, most of the time I will keep it for myself. I haven't kept every bottle I've gotten to myself, but I'm not gonna lie, I do keep most of them because I never want to be without this. All right, moving on to the products that I think you really don't need, that they are an easy pass. First up are the glosses. I bought, I don't think I was sent any of these, I bought all of these. I have six of them. And they're very pretty colors. I'm wearing one right now over a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And it's fine. It's just nothing special at all. There are so many better glosses on the market, better colors, better value. I just, I just don't even think you should bother looking at these. And then also the cream eyeshadows. These are called Eyes to Mesmerize. And these get me every time. I know that they dry out super fast and they are not that easy to work with, but I still buy them for some reason. I see Charlotte Tilbury or Sophia Tilbury or one of her artists on Instagram recreating a makeup look and this is a product that they seem to always use on the eyes and so I think it looks gorgeous. I buy one, I get it, I'm disappointed. Either the color payoff isn't there or they go on patchy or I have them for two weeks with the cap really, really tight. I go to open it to use it and it's all dried out. I and mean, the colors are absolutely beautiful. It's just the formula I find to be pretty subpar. The bottom line is I think that there are much better cream eyeshadow options out there. I personally prefer, if I'm going to use a cream shadow, a cream eyeshadow pencil. I just find them easier to work with. They're a lot less patchy. They don't dry out like these. So yeah, not my favorite. Next up are her face palettes. Again, beautiful to look at. You might see swatches of these and think, oh, they're stunning. But honestly, for the price, they are just not worth it. The color payoff in most cases just isn't there. There are better options within the range for these types of products like the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, which is basically this right here. You'd think they'd be the same, like, oh, they look similar in color and tone, but they're not. The formulas are completely different. This one has a lot more pigmentation to it. Whenever I've used one of these palettes, I've got a couple of these, and I just find them so difficult to work with. I want something with pigment. It doesn't have to have, bam, in your face, a ton of pigment right off the bat, because I've always said that sometimes when products have too much pigment, not really the best for beginners, or people who tend to go more heavy-handed with their makeup, because it's just much more difficult to take down or tone down color than it is to just Add, but you also don't want to be sitting there for 10 minutes trying to get your blush or bronzer to show up. So for me, these are an easy pass when she comes out with these. Even though I'm always tempted, I do not buy. This one is the Nudegasm palette and it was obviously sent to me because I know I did not buy this. Next up is the mascara. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. But honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of any of her mascaras. If I'm going to be spending a high-end price for a mascara, I'm going to go for the Chanel La Volume or the YSL Lash Clash, maybe a Lancome mascara. Her mascaras are just not it for me. They're not horrible. They're not the worst mascaras I've ever tried. I just don't find them to be anything really special. And then finally, products from Charlotte Tilbury that I think are an easy pass is basically an entire category, which would be, with the exception of one product that I'm going to get to, her skincare. Charlotte Tilbury skincare, as good as it sounds 
when she launches a new product or talks about it on camera, I've never been really wowed. Or should I say I've never really fallen in love, again, with the exception of one product, which I guess I'll just talk about next. But everything else I've tried has just been okay. I tried the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. Thought it was pretty good. At one time I was sent the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Face Oil and I liked it. I would use it for when I would do my gua sha, use my gua sha. It worked great for that purpose, but you know what else worked great for that purpose? My eight or $10 e.l.f. facial oil. So the products aren't bad. There are just better options out there and many at a better price point as well. So that brings me to the For Your Consideration products. These are items that I have either already repurchased, would repurchase, or are just definitely products that I think stand out among my other options. So I'm gonna tell you right now, the eyeshadows, the blushes, the Hollywood Flawless Filter that everyone seems to rave about and is extremely popular, I think they are fair. I have many, many of the eyeshadow palettes. I have many, many of the blushes because I guess you could say that I am a bit of a Charlotte Tilbury collector. If I'm not sent one of her new products in PR, most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, I am going to buy it no matter what it is because number one, it's my job to test makeup. Number two, I just really adore Charlotte Tilbury's overall aesthetic. It's so feminine and beautiful and the packaging is so luxe. Her advertisements always just sort of lure me in. I love the way she talks about the products. And yeah, I guess you could say I'm a sucker for Charlotte Tilbury. So I do own, I think every eyeshadow palette, every powder blush shade, and they're good. I just don't know if I would recommend them to someone new to the brand over the products I'm talking about here. Obviously not the Easy Pass products, but the other ones like my five must haves and the following products. So I told you I was going to start with the one skincare product that I do love, that I have repurchased, and that is the Magic Cream. I mention this every single time I talk about this product. I know, I'm aware of how polarizing this product is. People either love it or they hate it or they think it's just meh. I love this cream. And it's not just that I think that it hydrates my skin well, it plumps up my skin, smooths my skin. I'll be honest with you, I just love using this. I love the way it smells. And of course, smells are very, very personal. I love it. I'm sure some of you watching absolutely hate the scent and wish it was completely scent free or just don't use this product at all because of the scent. I happen to think the scent is fantastic. So it's actually a joy to use. I think we all know that if something is difficult to use or something smells bad, you don't like to use it, you're not going to use it. So obviously if this scent is off-putting to you, you're not going to want to use this cream. You don't care what the formula is. You don't care what wonderful things it might be able to do for your complexion if you hate using it, then you're not going to use it. But if you love using it, you may even continue to use it even if you don't think the results are stellar. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. So yeah, I just love the texture of this cream, the smell of it. Charlotte created this as the perfect prep for under makeup when she would do models at fashion shows. Charlotte Tilbury for a couple of years was the lead makeup artist for the Victoria's Secret fashion show, and we all loved Victoria's Secret fashion show model makeup, didn't we? So she was the creative director for that show for, like I said, a couple of years, and this is the product that she would put on all of the models' skin before she did their makeup, and it is one of my favorites. So my next For Your Consideration product is also a little bit, um, polarizing, or let's just say people are going to have some strong opinions on this, I think. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. If you are new to my channel, you might not be aware that I do have oily skin, and I do prefer medium coverage. I'm not someone who's going to reach for a very sheer skin tint. That's just not my thing. I like a foundation to really make my skin look flawless. Unfortunately, skin tints 
not only do they have minimal coverage most of the time, they also, most of the time, don't last very well on my oily skin because they tend to be more hydrating, meant for more dry skin. So what I'm getting at is that if you are someone who likes a real sheer, minimalist, hydrating, glowy type of foundation, you're going to disagree with my assessment of this being an excellent foundation because it's only a really good foundation for someone who wants medium to full coverage, that real flawless, I don't wanna say fake look because nobody wants to look fake, at least I wouldn't think, but what this foundation does is help people with not so perfect skin look like they have perfect skin without looking like they have, you know, this much layer of makeup on their face. I have worn this during the day, I have worn it at night, and as long as you apply it properly, like with the right skin prep, you don't use a whole lot, it won't look or feel cakey. The bottom line is when it comes to this foundation, it's really for someone who wants coverage, wants to kind of fake it till they make it when it comes to looking like they have really, really nice skin. Next up are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These are just some of the shades that I have. I've got a whole other tray in the other room. This is the Matte Revolution formula that I have the most of. Actually, I think I have every shade in every formula. Actually, I don't think those are all Matte Revolution formulas. I think some of them are the Hot Lips formula. And then there's one other formula. I'm looking up what it is. Oh, Hot Lips 2. So there's Hot Lips, Hot Lips 2, Matte Revolution, Kissing, Beauty Icon several formulas. I really like them all. That's one category of the Charlotte Tilbury line that I never hesitate to buy from when she comes out with something new. So that would be her lipstick. Whatever formula, if it's a new shade that appeals to me, I feel like it's pretty much a guarantee that I'm going to like it. I may not love the color, but I'll most likely really love the formula. So I don't know what happened with the glosses. I really hope she considers reformulating the lip glosses because she's had these since the beginning. They haven't changed the packaging, they haven't changed the formula, nothing. Okay, we're down to the final two products. In at number four is the Brow Cheat. If you're looking for a really, really good brow pencil that is excellent for someone with very sparse brows, this is a wonderful choice. The shade selection, very, very good. I always struggle to find really good brow pencils for blonde hair. They're often too red or too gray or green. And I find the shade taupe to be perfect for my brows. I try a lot, a lot of brow products. Anytime a new one comes out, I'm pretty much gonna go run out and buy it and try it, but I find myself going back to this one a lot. I like that it's refillable. I like that it's long wearing. I like that it has a little spoolie on the end. I love the angled tip that doesn't break off when you press. I've tried other brow pencils that just continually, the tip continually breaks off, and that's so annoying, especially when you've paid you know, a good amount of money for the brow product. So I think these are kind of underrated within the Charlotte Tilbury line. Something that is not underrated that was actually sold out for a long, long time was the Beauty Light Wand in Pink Gasm. Today I've used Pink Gasm Sunset. I still hate the packaging of these. Anytime I talk about these products, this product or any of these Beauty Light Wands, I always say how much I really dislike the packaging, and I still do. But I love the colors and the glow and just everything about these Beauty Light Wands. I have purchased the Pink Gasm several times over the years. I can't remember exactly when it launched, maybe um, two or three years ago. Maybe longer than that, my gosh, it's 2024. And I think these launched pre-COVID, so, oh my goodness, the years are just flying by. And see, 
here's something I don't like, how they kind of ooze out the top. I just slightly, slightly pressed this and I've got all this product oozing out the top. And a little bit goes a long way, so I don't need to use all of this. I wish they would change the packaging, but they're so pretty and I really don't, I was about to say I don't really see anything else like this on the market. I know some brands like e.l.f. and Milani have come out with what some say are dupes. Again, like I said earlier, not everybody wants to buy drugstore makeup. Some people are just vehemently opposed to it, whatever the reason is. And if you want to have some beautiful, have a beautiful, sheer, glowy blush that's kind of unique, then I would look into these. Just make sure you close it up and yeah, unfortunately there is a little bit of waste when it comes to this product, but yeah, I still really like it. Okay, there they are, my five must-haves from Charlotte Tilbury, my five products I think you should consider from Charlotte Tilbury, and the products I think you could easily pass on and you're not really missing out on anything products. So, if you did enjoy this video, found it even a little bit helpful, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. All of the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box. I will most likely be linking everything to Ulta because that was the whole point of this video. Everything should be available either online or in store at Ulta Beauty. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you will become a part of the Risa Does Makeup family. You can also find more fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content from me over on Instagram and TikTok. My username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.